<laughs> Speaking of bombers, holy mackerel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my lord. <sighs> Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today we are out in Bastrop, Texas. Uh, just stopped by Bucky's to grab a little Bucky sandwich. And we are on a very unique Retro Bassin expedition today. Normally when I'm in this neck of the woods, I am actually out fishing Lake Bastrop. But today I came with a different mission in mind. So today's episode of Retro Bassin is brought to you courtesy of Bass and Bud Ira, who hit me up on Instagram and let me know about a little tackle shop slash yard sale that happens to be right here in Bastrop. So there is no phone number attached to it. There's literally no website. I think it just happens to be at uh, this particular individual's house. But I've heard that there are tables and tables and sheds and sheds of vintage and discontinued lures, rods, reels, and tackle boxes. So we're making a quick stop here at Bucky's to get some fuel for the day, and then we are gonna head over to this tackle shop, yard sale, hopefully it's open, and do a little bit of mining for some old school gold. So a lot of people ask me, how do you know if a specific tackle shop is gonna have any old school gold inside? Well, Bass and Buds, if there's a bell that says ring for service, Probably a pretty good bet. <laughs> so here we are in front of Cecil's Tackle Shop in Bastrop, Texas. So we just arrived here, uh, rang the bell, so Cecil's on his way out to show us around. <sighs> I can already tell you, in about the first four seconds, this is gonna be an epic, epic episode. So there's a ton of fishing tackle that's out here. He actually covers it up at night, and then in the morning, when the shop opens, he takes it out. So there are, I think, three or four sheds on site. He says they are filled up with vintage lures, vintage rods, vintage reels, vintage tackle box. It's gonna be a very retro day here. So I'm in the first shed. I took a quick walk around this place and there are a ton of lures that I wanna pick up, but I need to get a tackle box in which to put them. So we are in the section of, I think it is, four to eight dollar tackle boxes <laughs> and just look <laughs> that's a service bell by the way it's tackle boxes like as far as you can see there must be uh, honestly every bit of 75 tackle boxes with an eye shot of me right now um so yeah there's some good old stuff i don't even know how to get into this good old fenwick's An old Rebel tackle box. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's insane. Okay, there's one that's probably gonna come with me. So it's an old Umco uh, Corporation tackle box. Model 173AS. Let's take a look inside and see how she looks. Uh, I just love the look of these old aluminum boxes. Yeah, buddy, that's actually in pretty good shape. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna put this guy off to the side. We'll see if we find any more. Oh, and in addition to the tackle boxes, there's literally just tables upon tables of nothing but old school discontinued soft plastic baits. Yeah, so I don't even know where to start with all of this stuff. This is just, it's too much to even handle. Um, what is that? 
Phantom Tackle Fish Sticks. Oh, that looks like the old uh, Head and Soft Plastic Zara Puppy, which honestly I'm scared to open. So, dude, that's gonna come with. Oh wow, and there's two of them. Very cool. Old Zoom stuff. Look at this, just so much stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I mentioned this in the last video. I've been looking to fish with this, the old Riverside Top Gun. <laughs> oh, by the way, you don't want to buy that. <laughs> Oh, okay, awesome. I've been looking, looking, looking for this and have not found it. And someone else mentioned, another bass and bud said I should fish with some old Gilraker worms. And wouldn't you know, he's got those as well. well I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can, but this is hard. Cobra. Oh, some more Gilraker worms. Nice. Oh, hey, look at that, the old culprit jerkworm. I'll leave that one for the next bass and bud that comes here. Oh, speaking of the head and Zara soft puppy. Look at that. <laughs> I know that I say this a lot, but this place is truly overwhelming. It is just too much to handle trying to do some antique picking without missing something, without you know, spending eight hours here and trying to share it with you guys. I hope you guys appreciate the ride because I am literally blazing through this old school gold at warp speed. How much are the plastics per bag? Dollar bag. Dollar bag? So here I am in front of sort of the main trailer of the place. Inside there's a ton of weights, lead weights for just about every kind of fishing. And there's boxes and boxes, I think probably 30 or 40 Plano boxes all just filled with random, mostly discontinued lures. So I'm standing in the first uh, little trailer that we have right here, and I have got <laughs> probably about 40 uh, Plano tackle boxes to go through and check out to see if there's any discontinued lures in here. Everything in this section, the lures are $2 a piece, so I'm hoping to find a uh, a lure or two, we'll see. I guess I'm just gonna have to start this way and, and work on down. So I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to what's in here, but, oh, really cool. All right, so there's a nice old topwater from, I think that's a lure Jensen. I'll have to look up the name of that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I like, it's an old wooden bait, with a little propeller on the back end, and a couple of nice hooks. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like some sort of old school head and lucky 13 looking bait. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a little heavy for a like head and lucky 13 too. And a nice black shore minnow color. So here we've got a head and Zara spook in a, kind of a rare color. This one came out, I forget it was in the 90s I think but they had a line of this particular color. It's like a translucent with a little sparkle on it. And yeah, that's beautiful. Yep, an old official Zara spook. <laughs> right out of the gates. Ooh, look at that. I got a little old school skipjack in a chrome color. <sighs> yeah, doesn't blow, but I'm sure that'll work. Nice, I love that. So that's almost like a, a little Sort of heading crazy shad esque looking bait. Beautiful. An old Pop R P70. Gets a little Fred Arbogast top water. A little wooden one. I forget the name of this one. But Arbogast had a really interesting line where they were doing some wooden baits for a while, and I think this is one of them. There's a posed jackpot. Ooh, <laughs> gorgeous. Well, two boxes of 40 in and I'm already in trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, huh, this is interesting. 
never actually heard of this bait before. This looks like a rattle trap, but that is clearly a LNS Mirror Lore brand lore. Huh. Wow. And I think that's a, looks like a Lord Jensen. I think that's a Hot Lips. Look at the bill on that sucker. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I'm kind of hoping for some duds in these boxes because I've already got like 10 lures on the side and I've been here for two minutes. What are these? So I have no idea, this is an old wooden bait of some sort. Like it looks like a top water, very narrow, almost sort of has a curved uh, appearance to it. And there's like a whole box of those guys, so I don't know what those are. Huh. That thing looks pretty slick though, doesn't it? Doesn't have any labeling on it at all. But man, I bet that thing moves. What do we have? Oh, okay, so that's a really good looking big O. That sucker's gonna come with me. That is in the classic size and in a color I don't have. Uh, sort of like a chartreuse Smoky Joe. I think that's a man's loud mouth. Let's listen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, ooh. ooh. I see a pre raffle storm in here. Not a wiggle wart, but. Oh, look at that. So what was the name of this one? Uh, this was, was this the Mac? But it was a pre raffle a storm bait. I think this is meant for stripers. And it's got a nice diving lip on it. You can clearly tell it's got the storm eyes. It probably used to say something on the bill, but uh, obviously the paint on this thing has been uh, pretty well wiped out. <laughs> oh, very cool. Here's another old pre rappler storm bait. I think this one was called the Thunder Stick, if I recall correctly. And it's got <laughs> a swivel on it for some reason. I, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but that's a pretty cool jerk bait. I don't know if this was the suspending one or not, but it feels a little heavy, so it might be. This place is Crank Bait City. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh. Oh, so look at this bait. So this is pretty wild. This is an old crank bait. I forget the name of this one, but wait till you see the front of this bait. So it's got a hole that goes all the way out of the front of the bait and enters out the bottom. Oh, that is super cool. Uh, I'll have to look up the name of this one, but I've definitely had this bait on my radar for a little while. I've never seen one in person, so I'm totally uh, gonna pick this guy up. And there's another one in more of a deeper version of that same bait as well. Nice. Ooh, check this out. A nice pre rapala Storm Thin Fin. And you can tell it's authentic by looking at the old bill there. Woo! Oh, that's a pretty little bait. And I will give you guys a quick little sort of peek into what I'm doing here. So I'm picking out what I think of the best stuff, but look, each one of these boxes is just packed with lures. I mean, ah. Uh, so that was one row in of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of ten. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Okay, we're on to row number two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, a, a Lee Sesson crankbait. Woof, look at that dude. That's an old school one. Um, very cool. Almost looks like a Bagley, but that is a Lee Sisson for sure. On a Really nice color too, huh? Wow. Ho, ho, ho. There's another man's loud mouth. 
Oh, here's an old crankbait from Berkeley. This is pretty cool. It's half hard bait and the back is soft plastic. That is super cool. And it looks like another Bagley bait. Looks like that mullet. So what are your hours of operation if people do come by? I don't got no hours. When do you wake up? <laughs> if people don't come knocking. When it gets dark. <laughs> okay. So this is a, a vintage pose bait. That's an old school old pose too. Pose, yes, sir. That is a pose. Yeah, it's not. But that's an old one. That's an old color too, actually. It's like a perch color. Yeah, that's a good lure. I slipped by that one. Yeah, that's a goodie. That's a real good lure. Yeah, and there's another old pose and a similar uh, similar deal there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they did with the lips when um, they got bought by Browning, but they weren't as robust. This is a nice, solid lip. Oh, that's a good bait. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, this was a, this is an oldie bit of goodie. A rapala minnow spoon. Old weedless spoon. Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll catch. That's a goodie. So there's a Cordell Deep Big O. A rippling red fin. That's pretty cool. Look at the top of that. It's all. That's a cool one. It says 2007 Tundra. No idea what that's about. <laughs> so there's a no name crankbait. I don't know what that is. That's kind of interesting. Is that like almost looks like a Fish World Tom Man kind of crankbait, but I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, that might be a might be a Tom Man. Very angular. All right. Ooh. There's an old man's crankbait. Forget the name of this one. You can see the man's logo on it. Right there. Ah, uh, what is this called? It's called the piggyback or what? But that's pretty cool. A wild color. It's a Rogers Big Jim. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a big dude too. Look at that. That is not a small crankbait. <laughs> All right, see so here we are into the third row. <laughs> Three of fifteen. <laughs> La Cassine Redfish Rodeo 2010. It's pretty wild. What is that? Just some sort of custom spoon they had. And you got like you got a, bunch of a bunch of those. The old Redfish Rodeo. Nice. I be, ooh. Those in Pico Perch. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of Pico Perch. So I think we just found a box with some Pico Perches, if, if I'm correct. Oh no, this isn't, it looks like a Pico Perch, but it's not. It's like a knockoff. It's got a little hole in it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So these are not... Yeah, so... I'm trying to figure out what brand this was. I do forget, but look at that. It looks a whole lot like a Pico Perch, but there's that channel. Same as the crankbait. Ooh, now you can really see the hole there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And I guess water goes in that hole. And then comes out the bottom and makes some sort of disturbance, I guess. <laughs> Got a little knot there, Russ. <laughs> that same deal with the hole in the middle. That's a funky looking little crankbait. If I could just get that separated. You know what the name of that is? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we are putting a hurting on this collection today. So who remembers the diving rattle trap? <laughs> Nice smoky Joe color too. So this is wild. It's got crankbait, but a rattle trap at the same time. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that is a Hedden Hellcat. Uh, that is a little minnow bait. And I can tell by that lip design. The Hellcat had a really unique lip. I've never seen one in this color pattern, but I'm 90% eh, sure that's a Hedden Hellcat. that I'm not leaving here. So Bass and Buds, if you do make the road trip here, you're gonna have to schedule a little bit of time because there's just so much to go through. 
Whoa. Speaking of bombers, holy mackerel. Look at that. Oh my lord. Wow. If these are actual, yeah, these are actual bombers. Holy mackerel. So there is the classic uh, bomber, Gainesville, Texas. And I'm assuming this might have been a striper box because these are all the same color. Nice pearl. This is not the wooden bomber. This is the uh, plastic one. You can tell by that rattle. But man, that's pretty cool. So you got two sizes. This one, I forget the model. And then the bigger one, and that is totally the old striper size. It's even got the old saltwater hooks on it. Which you can't replace because they're, you know, welded on there. A uh, nice old head and chugger. Oh, that's a chugger spook. There's another one of them hot lips. Look at that thing. I bet that thing would break a rod. <laughs> go 30 foot down. It could do some damage, huh? <laughs> okay, so this one is definitely a Tom Man Fish World bait. So those crankbaits must have been it. It's the same exact shape and profile. I can tell because that's the Tom Man sort of like real bait fish uh, finish that they used to have. I bet that sucker dies pretty deep. What row was I on? I think I'm here. <laughs> He's forgetting where I am. Archie for just having so much fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think you're going to charge me enough as it is. <laughs> Ooh, there's an old rebel. Big sucker. Look at that dude. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. I've been looking for this bait. So, this is from Whopper Stopper. This is called the Crap Shooter. It's a cool little bait, almost like the body of a uh, hellbender, but it's got a short little bill on it. Oh man, I've totally been scoping out one of these. Nice. Oh, very cool. Check this out. So this is an old jerk bait from Rick Clun. I think this was a Bill Norman bait. Was this called the Rippin' Rick? I think it was. And the way this thing works is, notice it's got a little stopper on the bottom. So what you can do with this bait is you fill it up with water, depending on conditions, and it will either suspend or maybe sink a little bit. But the old Rippin' Rick, got it in that color, and then also in a little chartreuse. And is that a Bagley Bangalore hanging onto it? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Ah. There's the old Bagley. What model is this? Bagley DB3. Um, let's see what kind of shape this dude's in. So that lip looks okay. Um, that hook doesn't look the best, but a little bit of rust on the back end of that, but I could probably uh, swap those out. Yeah, that might be a keeper, huh? Two bucks for a Bagley? Okay, hold on. I don't even know what this is. So that looks... Doesn't rattle. It's a silent bait. Profile similar to a Big O. Almost has like a bagley face with a Smithwick body. No idea. Hmm. That might be a no-name bait, but I'm, uh, I'm going to grab that. So here's another version of that Berkeley bait. It's got the hard head with the soft body. I don't know what the point of this was. I mean, I don't think that a game fish is, uh, you know, A, gonna smell a topwater bait uh, to appreciate the power bait smell, or B, bite a topwater like this and not either get hooked immediately or not. So, <laughs> but a wild bait nonetheless, sort of in the style of a, a Zara spook. Ooh, hold up. The Thin Fin Fat O. <laughs> oh, that could just be the find of the trip right there. Look at that. Oh, man. 
I don't think I've ever seen one of those in person either. So that is 100% uh, a Storm uh, pre wrap a bait. You can see by the bottom. So that is the Thin Fin Fat O. Very similar to a Big O in a sort of a Storm version of it. Ooh! Yeah, I will just show you this crate. There's actually some good old stuff in here. I see a bunch of nice old Cordell spots. Big O's. Man. Wow. So another box of that mysterious top water bait, which I just can't seem to identify. About 30 of those in there. No idea what that is. All right, we are slowly but surely moving down the line here. <laughs> Getting there. Ah, oh, there's old Lindy Shadling. It's a pretty cool bait. It's like a Norman Big N there. Man. Somebody used to do some crank baiting, I'll tell you that. Ooh. Hold up. I got some old bandits in here. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. It's a good looking bait. Man. Look at that guy. Chartreuse on one side, orange on the other. <laughs> these look pretty new, so I don't know if these are uh, pre Pride Co or not. I'm not the uh, banded expert, so I'm not sure. But there's about 15 bandits in there. Hmm, nice. Yeah, <laughs> here's one uh, from Blakemore called the Troubleshooter. Had a hole in the front as well. A lot of them in that big O style here. A lot of a lot of these nice fat bodied shallow diving crankbaits. That's actually a really good one though. An old Tennessee killer. Whew. Oh, and there's a nice uh, bomber speed shad. Old crankbait, yeah. Thin, thin, thin. That is like a thin fin, isn't it? Never thought of that, but yeah, that's totally a sort of a thin fin. Oh, here's one from uh, see an old Smithwick bait. Check it out, an old water gator. It's like a, a rattle trap style bait from Smithwick. I love it. It's got that kind of interesting bill on it. That's actually good looking bait. Yeah, it does have a sharper nose and just sort of a one knock too. It doesn't make a lot of noise, but that's cool looking bait. Oh, there's an old Bill Dance Strike King Grass Frog and the bubble gum. Kind of feels like old bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another Rebel Racket Shad. Ooh, that's actually a nice looking color too. Nice chrome, gold, and. Old school rattle trap color there. Another old school rattle trap color. Box and the rattle trap copied each other. Yeah, I think they did. That's a that's a. Those are two good looking colors though. Speaking of copying each other, so we saw the diving rattle trap. There's a diving spot. So that's a rattle spot with a lip on it. Ah. Little uh, pre rappel a storm hot and tot. Metal lip. Oh man! Another box of bombers. Oh, look at that. Holy mackerel. Woo! Somebody used to buy a lot of bombers. And not fish a lot of bombers, because these are pristine. All, again, not the wooden baits, but man. So in this bait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 30 shad colored bombers in there. Wow. All the same color. All the same. Huh. 
on, look at that. So that looks like the uh, Dances Shad, but a top water version. Ooh, pretty cool. Nice sparkle color on that thing. I'm pretty sure that's an old Strike King uh, jute long wood bait. Yeah, double spinner. That'll catch. <laughs> head and head plug. Oh, that's a toughie. Look at that dude. Yep. Oh, I'll be throwing that sucker for sure. Oh, wow. And a Strike King Psycho Scout. That's an old crankbait there. Old Bill Dance version. That thing's wild looking. That's a crazy color, too. Fromy's Weed Hopper. What is that thing? That's like a topwater bait. Oh, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Just giant weed guard. <laughs> Little grub. It's different. That is different. I'll have to look that up. So we got like one more row with the $2 baits here. You're going to spend 100 bucks in $2 baits. You've done something. <laughs> Another thin fin hanging out in there. I'll leave that one for another day. Man. Oh, here's an old one from uh, Bass Pro Shop. Discontinued bait. The old shoestring Dubois top knocker. Top water bait. Listen to that. It's got like a single one knock in there. That's pretty cool. I guess single one knock isn't necessary. It's just, just a one knock. But there you go. All right, last uh, box of the dollar row, or the $2 row. Well, that just about wraps up our day at Cecil's Tackle Shop in Bastrop, Texas. So this is a drive up only kind of place. I will drop the information for Cecil's down below. It is Cecil's house. So, you know, you come during normal business hours and he'll be here. Uh, all you do is you ring the bell for service and he will come out and show you around. There's a ton of great stuff still here. I went hard through those tackle boxes, um, but just plenty of old school gold yet to be mined. So hopefully you, if you are ever in the Bash Drop area and you've got a little bit of time to check out this place, the only warning I'll say is plan to spend a good half day here because there is just so much here that if you really want to look at it all you gotta put the time in so thanks again Cecil for giving us the run of your place really appreciate the tour appreciate the old school gold that we uh, captured along the way and Bass and Buds definitely swing on by and ring the bell if you're ever in the Bass Drop area till next time Bass and Buds keep on picking and definitely Fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.